Sh should I just look straight into the camera or at you? Okay, okay. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, I do. Sometimes. And it's not that I can't live without it, I'm not addicted whatsoever. It's just that I choose to engage in the activity every single day. It's not, it's, it's not that bad really, okay? It's not... I, I can do it. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll do it one, one last time. My, my name is Magnus Bolkin, and I'm addicted to monsters, baby. Uh. Nothing like a beautiful monster in the morning. But yeah, that intro, well, I feel like it was a joke, but it's it probably has some truth in it, you know? But I'm going to take a long break from caffeine. A few reasons why I'm not going to go in depth about it in this video. Uh, just to explain it quickly, uh, being reliant on it and budget. That's the two main reasons. But yeah, that's besides the point. Now I'm going to make my pre-workout meal. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about motivation, how I have dealt with a big lack of motivation, how you can get motivated, just talk with you, connect, you know, all the good shit, and we're also going to have a banger training session. I'm excited for this video. Let's make some breakfast because we got a game. So, hello, sir. Are you, are you fine? It's beautiful evening, sir. Okay, so the breakfast, aka the pre-workout meal for today, consists of three bread slices, three eggs, and one banana. Pretty basic, but yeah, it takes like two minutes to make, and it has solid mackerel. So this is what I'm eating most days before my workout. Also got some salt on because of sodium, and it tastes delicious. So yeah, that is this meal wrapped up. Mmm, mmm, I enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's just finish the meal. That breakfast was muy bien, but yeah, besides that, I've been feeling really good lately. Like, I was on vacation, if you didn't know, a few weeks ago. Really just, yeah, when I was there, I just learned a lot about myself. I learned what I wanted to pursue, why I like things that I do, and yeah, just some flaws and insecurities I had as well. Basically, what I want to do with my channel is a combination to bring knowledge regarding training and nutrition, but also mindset, just to help people become more confident. I just want to bring good vibes along with knowledge. And regarding the knowledge part, next week I'm actually starting my lean bulk. I feel like it's a meme because I've said that a thousand of times, but now I'm starting it for real, I'm committing. I have this amazing program which I've spent over a year creating. And uh, yeah, I will talk more about that next week as well so that it can be available for you as well if you wanna try it out. Spending a shit ton of time just researching, creating it, perfecting it, trying it, get friends to try it and all that to make sure that it's perfect for the general population. If you're an intermediate, this is not a beginner program. It's a bit more advanced. I have a free beginner program though, so it's gonna be in the description. I'm also going to update that. I wanna create more free stuff as well because we gotta give back, you know? And honestly, it's somewhat egotistical to give because when you give, you always get either in terms of positive emotions or people just wanna help you as well because you bring them value. That's literally the perfect situation. You gotta have an abundance mindset where everyone can win, okay? If you think that someone has to lose in order for you to win, you're, you're not going to be so popular amongst other people then because uh, yeah, that's, that's not how you should go about things in my opinion. Uh, rambling on a lot now. So yeah, I think we'll go to the gym. <laughs> and by the way, if you like my clothing, it's from Young LA if you want to cop something. Code Balkin. I'm not going to promote this a ton, uh, but I do genuinely enjoy the clothing though. I use it every time I work out and I don't have to as well. It is like a oversized sweater. Pretty cool, I know, but now I'm already feeling like a sellout because I suck at selling stuff. So yeah, let's get into the workout session. Let's go!
So we got the anabolic oatmeal ball right here. It's pretty basic, but it tastes good. Well, obviously as long as you use a protein powder, that tastes good and a sweetener if you have a big sweet tooth like I do. Uh, but yeah, the editor is going to put the calories macros up on screen right now. I don't really have an editor, it just sounds professional. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I have a genuine connection with oatmeal. I don't know what that means, but you know, ever since I started my fitness journey, oatmeal, it's always been there for me, man. When I've been cutting, when I've been bulking, highly recommend if you have a huge appetite to just make an oatmeal bowl. But you know what? This video isn't about oatmeal. So let's get to the main topic of the video right now. So this video is mainly inspired by a question I got on Instagram, which was how do you deal with the lack of motivation slash depression which can affect lifting? Well, the lack of motivation part, I've definitely struggled with that a lot for 2021. I think there's a few reasons for that. Uh, the two main reasons are probably that one, I cared too much about growing on YouTube and I started making more videos for mainly growing instead of making what I genuinely like to make. So the result of that was that I started to not enjoy making YouTube videos at all. And the other reason was that I just started to value other people's opinion way too much either people in real life or people on social media and I was at a really dark place mentally like there would be weeks after weeks of me not socializing me just being resentful and comparing myself to people who are doing better than me and since one of the things that I struggled with the most was my lack of self-belief I doubted myself all the time one of the things that really made me not do that as much was to surround myself with people just basically being a better influence on my life so instead of surrounding myself with opinions that i didn't really want to hear and native people i swapped that out with actually yeah, looking at people online which were successful which had good good advice and which just had a positive influence on me uh, for example jordan peterson recently bought his book really great stuff you should watch some of his youtube videos and i'm sure you'll be motivated and that's kind of like my story but let's break down motivation even further well motivation consists of two things one it's an ambition it has to be a goal that you want to hit or that you desire to reach that's the first thing that's like how motivation is sparked and to continue the growth of motivation that is expectancy so you have to have something that you're ambitious ambitious towards yeah that's the right word but you also have to actually expect that you can hit it and this was where i failed i did not believe in myself as i told you about even though i had this thing that i wanted to pursue i didn't really expect that i could pursue it and obviously i can and i could but i didn't believe it and what you believe is essentially what it's going to manifest itself in real life because that's going to dictate how you act and so what i talked about right now was like motivation quickly summarized but we also have discipline and there's not really like one or the other which most people think motivation is like the desire of reaching your ambition and discipline is the effort you have to put in to get there so you obviously have to have a combination if you actually want to get somewhere because you need them both but to get back to the question i got which was basically how to regain motivation i got three simple steps for you and i can almost guarantee that you will feel more motivated if you have every three of these in check step one get clear about your goal it's not enough to just have a goal you have to have a good goal it has to be clear you have to know when you hit it on the dot you have to have a time frame for when you have to hit it and it also has to be a goal that you can measure the progress towards reaching so that is step number one to have a clear and meaningful goal and step number two is to actually believe like genuinely believe that you can achieve it and this is done by surrounding yourself with the right people this doesn't only have to be in real life this can be on social media stop following people which you just compare yourself to with to people that don't really provide you value and really make sure that you actually have good influences in your life and step three which i've talked about a bit see progress towards your goal if you can't measure it how are you going to see that you're actually yeah uh, getting closer to your goal and that is what is going to give you that motivation sense of feeling that you're actually accomplishing what you're working towards and that is so crucial like do those three things <laughs> i can't talk do those three things have a clear goal believe in yourself that you can reach that goal and the third one shit yeah yeah see progress towards that goal that's the third one and you do that by being disciplined and actually putting in the effort and action 
to getting there. And that is the secret, even though there's no such thing as a secret. I hate words like secrets. But yeah, anyways, I've been Magnus Balken. I really hope that this provided you some value. If you liked the video, please like the video. But if you didn't like it, dislike it. And tell me in the comment section below what I can do to improve. My name has been Magnus Balken. See you next one. Peace.